Welcome to another Real Estate Talk Show, featuring highlights of the best interviews from our national real estate radio show. Here's another property expert. Another good email this morning uh, with a rental question or property management question. Chris Rolls from Rental Express joins me. Hi, Chris. Good morning, Kevin. Okay, here's the question. Two parts, and we'll deal with it in two parts. Uh, we viewed the application for our first tenants, but this time around the real estate agent found the tenants for us, and they've only told us of their occupations. I know that we don't really need to know, just curious about what normally happens. So I think what that means, I'm not wanting to read anything into it that's not there, but really how much can I know as the owner about the tenants, even though they've been found by a real estate agent? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the reality is, as the owner of the property, uh, you're able to, or you're entitled to know as much about the tenants as, as you want to. Uh, a lot of people are mistakenly under the belief that if you've got a property manager looking after your property, the tenant enters into a lease with the property manager, and that's not the case. The property manager is simply signing the lease on your behalf. And what all good property management companies do is get the tenants to sign a privacy document stating that they will pass the information about the tenant on to the owner, uh, because obviously if you can't pass that information on to the owner, how can you get approval from the owner as to whether they're happy for those tenants to move in or not? Uh, so the answer is yes, you should be entitled to, to all of the information about those tenants. Okay, another question um, off the forum here. Also, it's been about three or four months since we received rent on our property. Uh, after the previous tenants turned squatters, we had to get them evicted through by the sheriff. It then took seven weeks to get the tenants out and, uh, sorry, to get all their stuff removed and that for the owner to find, uh, sorry, for the property manager to find a new tenant. The real estate agent tells us that, that our insurance will cover this gap. Is that correct? Uh, well, we've talked about landlord insurance or different insurance policies uh, at length in the past, and the answer to that is it really depends on the insurance policy. So if you've got a good quality landlord insurance policy, and we've talked about a, a few of the, the, the different brands that, that are good quality specialist landlord insurance uh, policies in the past, if you've got one of those, then I would say more than likely the answer is yes. If you've got a landlord insurance policy that is just provided by one of the major banks um, or insurance companies, it's just an add-on, I would say more than likely the answer to that is they're going to cover some of it and you really need to, to check your product disclosure statement. The third part of that is if you just have contents insurance or building and, con uh, building and contents insurance, then the answer to that is no, and that's not going to be, have any of it covered. So difficult question to answer without knowing exactly what sort of insurance policy that you have. Yeah, I hope we answered that for you. I, uh, it's, it's a complex issue, isn't it? I, I guess if you've got a policy through a real estate agent or if they're managing it for you, it's fairly comprehensive coverage. Absolutely. I mean, there's there's really three major suppliers in Australia of a, a good quality landlord insurance policy, and they are MGA, Terry Shear, and EBM Insurance. Uh, and all three of those policies are similar. They're similar in price. Uh, EBM is, is probably slightly cheaper, and the, the policy is the same. That's why we use that. Um, and from that perspective, if you've got one of those insurance policies, all three of those would certainly cover that owner in that situation. Are those policies available to private owners who may be managing it themselves? Some of them are. Some of them aren't. Um, one of the things is that, that, that uh, the insurance companies have found is that if you actually get that insurance policy through a real estate agency, they'll actually charge you less. And the reason behind that is they have less claims because generally what they find is paperwork has been done better and the entry condition reports are done better and there's a bond in place. Uh, you know, more often, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so, my understanding is that all three of those you can get direct with the insurance company, um, but you can actually get them at a cheaper rate if you go through an actual real estate agency. Makes sense, Chris. Thanks for your time. No worries at all, Kevin. I'll speak to you next week. Chris Rolls from RentalExpress.com.au.